Hello, today I would like to show you how to make a programming cable for the Kodan NGT series of HF radios. First of all, you are programming the Kodan NGT by, the, by using the 3.5 millimeter socket inside the handset. I'm going to show you that in a second. And this is cable that does not work, very commonly used, that have uh, ability to exchange different plugs. And we've got a 3.5 millimeter. Here is what is the labor for, for the cable. And this doesn't work. What I expect is here is not only the USB to serial, but also a TTL converter. And one we actually need, we've got a full RS232 voltage levels. So we need to have a, just a straight connection to the serial ports. And here is how it looks like. This is view from the plug of the of the cable that we are going to use, as you can see. And each of these pins, I'm trying to make sure if that's uh, visible, each of these pins is labeled by the number and it's going one, two, three, four, five. And on the other row, and here you can see the connection. We are actually need just a free wire. And just like on the audio pin, because we are going to use a 3.5 millimeter stereo audio cable, audio, audio plug. So the ring is going to be GND, which is going to be pin number five. And make sure that you just read the number from the pin because if you've got a different plug this might look completely different so do not take a look at the computer side because they are mating together so this is like a mirror so you can make a confusion if you've got for example just like a USB to serial converter and you're going to take a look at this picture oh yeah I want to take this pin but no, that pin is going to be completely opposite. So stick with the pin numbers. Pin number five, ring and is ground. Pin number three is going to be a tip and this is a transmit. And the pin number two is going to be a, our middle one. And this is going to be a receive. And here I make a, that our cables that was some kind of old uh, modem cable which have this older type and here we've got the the newer the de de9 i just cut it i grab a multimeter and i was going by all these cables and i located our free three needed one lines. So this is just a test. We are going to hook it up. And after we are going to get a success, I'm going to, of course, solder a proper connector and give, a, give it a nice label. So let's go and try to connect it. And this is my setup. I'm connected to the hardware RS-232 port and I'm connected to the handset. This is the port that you are going to use for a programming. On the junction box there is a serial port and you can connect via this port to a, like a GPS receiver but that port cannot be used for a programming. You cannot connect a null modem cable and try to program via this. I tried it and it failed. You can only program this by this 3.5 millimeter socket just from the safety reason i disconnect the I, I unplug the radio while connecting but i'm pretty sure they make it safe but yeah let me be 
better be safe than sorry. And we are going to turn on our radio and we are going to go back to the computer. And you need software that is called the NG and sorry, NSP. I'm going to turn it on. Let me show you the, the software name about NSP. This is the software that I've got. And you go to the to the view, the preferences, and there we are going to select the proper serial port. And you can of course use the USB to serial, but I've got a nice hardware port, so I'm not going to use this. And as you can see on the communications tab, we've got a COM1 selected, which is a proper one. And now you can try uh, to make connection. You go to the load from the transceiver. And what's going to happen? As you can see, we've got the NSP, it's connected. And we can hit a load. And it's just downloading the, the channels and the configuration. So yes, this is how it looks like. Now I'm going to finish this cable to make it look more pleasant. And first thing that I'm going to do is of course print a nice heat shrink tubing with uh, information what this cable is made for. I extremely enjoy that. And it's going to be look absolutely amazing. And this is the end result. As you can see, I added a uh, heat shrink tubing to just label what is going where. And I put a code on NGT programming at the end of the 3.5 millimeter jack. Let's try connect this, maybe this time via the USB to serial and make sure that everything is working fine. Okay, so we've got our new cable connected to the handset. I've got USB to serial just to make sure that it's working. And I'm going to try to load the configuration and we've got a message on the handset that we are on the programming and I'm going to hit load and it's downloading here we can observe the progress it's going through the serial so yes this is slow but no problem it's working just fine so here is video how you can make your own cable and it's going very nicely and basically that's all so thank you very much for watching see you next time and bye bye